Hello, hello, friends. I hope you're having a very happy holiday. I'm currently out on break visiting family in my hometown, so I'm away right now. We gotta improvise the set a little bit, but I just wanted to take this time to celebrate. This channel is now one year old, and we've come such a long way in one year, and I couldn't do it without all of you, and I'm super thankful for just how far we've come, how much we've accomplished. There were so many things on my bucket list this year that I wanted to accomplish for the channel. For example, some things I can rattle off the top of my head. We made it to the semifinals of the Light in the Fog content creator competition. I've been able to shout cast Dead by Daylight competitive matches for Champions of the Fog, which is something I've always wanted to do. And just, we've created such a tight knit community. It makes me so happy when I go through the comments on my videos and it's like, hey, you're always here, you're always here. Just having reoccurring viewers is just so freaking awesome. And I truly cannot express, or I can't put into words just how much I thank you all. And I, I hope this channel just gets bigger next year. I hope we do better things next year. Just for one year old, we, we've come a pretty long way. I've never done any type of like Q&A before or anything, so I thought this would be an appropriate time to sit down you all ask some questions that I can answer, so we're not doing any fancy editing or anything. It's going to be all auditory just because we're out on break, but I want to take this time to answer a few questions. Would you consider streaming on Twitch or YouTube more, or are you too busy for that? Speaking of which, how's the acting job coming along? So I really want to start streaming on Twitch, and just to clarify, it's not drop dead on YouTube and switch fully over to Twitch. No, no, no. I want to make like 90% of my content on YouTube, but then take the time to stream on Twitch a little. But Twitch has started doing some questionable things, so it was kind of, do I go there or do I not go there? I'm still debating with myself in my head. And then for the acting job, it went great. We're all done now. It was throughout the whole month of October. I can't wait to talk about it more. There, there's not much I can say right now. And again, like it's nothing crazy. You're not gonna see me in the next, like, Spider-Man movie or something. I feel like people are like, oh, movie, like, you're, uh, it, it, it's just a movie. <laughs> if you could design your own DVD chapter, what would it be? I don't know about, like, an original chapter. There's never been a lot of, like, original killer ideas I've come up with personally. But I want Chucky in the game so freaking bad. I know my wife wants Chucky in the game so freaking bad. She's nodding her head behind the camera right now. Just any kind of like child's play care, child's play chapter. I don't know how it would work. He's so small, but like, make it happen. It's doable. They made Victor work. What do you think of having a DVD tournament where you put your fans against each other? Uh, something I've never thought of before. I have thought about making a Dead by Daylight tournament, but it's like, I don't know if I have the technology, the internet power, the internet power to run a DVD tournament. But a DVD tournament I've always wanted to do is on the killer end of the tournament. Once you play as that killer, it's done. You don't play as that killer ever again. You can never repeat killers. So you kind of have to be multi-talented with several killers, not just play Nurse and Spirit over and over and over again. And I think that would show who the best killer player is, not the person who's cracked with Nurse and Spirit and Blight over and over and over again. What made you decide to get into YouTube? Also love the concept of your channel. Can't believe no one's done something similar to that before. So it was back in like, Summer of 2021, I started in December 2021. I just thought about like, I, 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 I'm very opinionated about Dead by Daylight. And something I always thought of as a funny visual is Ghostface in a very proper suit. And that is the only thing I had going for the channel. Is just, I think it is hilarious to imagine Ghostface, but he's in a nice dapper little suit. And the setting is so cozy so polite, but he is just dropping bombshells of opinions sometimes. I don't think anybody asked this, but I always like to tell people, the original idea for the channel is I wanted Ghostface to be a complete asshole. And after talking with my wife and watching a couple videos, 
just of like test runs and everything, it didn't translate that I was joking. And we were worried a lot of people would get upset. I think the closest thing you'll ever get to like the original ghost face in the suit I envisioned being an asshole is uh, send this to the salty survivor who sent you a message after they lost. I think that is originally what I wanted. And I posted that video on Reddit. And sure enough, people didn't know I was joking. And they were pissed at what I was saying. So it's like, yeah, my wife was right. This isn't translating. Nobody knows I'm joking. So we kind of had to tone it down a little. Are you an actual fan of Scream or did you just need something to hide your identity? I'm not a major fan of Scream. I'm a casual fan. Like I enjoy the movies and everything, but I am not like a hardcore, I'm gonna go see the next Scream on day one and everything. Hardcore horror fan. But Scream is just one of those casual horror movies where I'm like, I enjoy it. It's good. It was mainly just the idea of Ghostface in a suit. Thought it was hilarious. Opinion on other horror games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Resident Evil adore the franchise. Have played so many of the games. Can't wait for the Resident Evil 4 remake coming out. Silent Hill... I don't have many options to play the games right now. I want to play the original Silent Hill game so bad. I don't have a PlayStation that can run that. I don't have the money to go like get like the original disc for it. And uh, my my Macintosh I use, I don't really have anything to like emulate it well either. So no, I haven't played the Silent Hill games, but I really want to. Well, guess my hours ever come back. Yes. There's a long story behind that. I'll address it <laughs> later. But there, there's a long story about Guess My Hours 2 that I'll address at a point. But yes, I want it to come back. There's just... We did something wrong. <laughs> Favorite color? Red. What is your sub goal? What play button do you really want? I mean, honestly... If I were to get a play button, just the first one, which is, I believe you get a play button for 100,000. I think they send you a play button. That would be dope as hell. But just, there's not really like a sub goal I'm looking for. If I had to say like a sub goal for like the end of next year, hitting over 30,000, I think would be a super nice goal. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We've been growing very fast and very steady, so. Stay tuned. And on that note, I know this was just a very impromptu video. It's not edited fancy or anything, but hope you all are having a happy holidays. Thank you again. God bless you, Oscar the dog. I hope you all are having a fantastic holiday. God bless you. <laughs> old man, little old man. Now show our dog. Oh, so precious. Come here, come here for the final. Come tell them all. Tell them all happy holidays. Thank you all for one solid year on this channel. I cannot wait to see where we go next. And yeah, here's to our 2023 journey. Thank you.